so uh, not not only just because of that and now we come across to another person who's the stellar person in uh, you know in the film industry one man industry is what one of the french you know industry uh, men from the film industry french film industry said that he is one man industry in the indian film industry amitabh bachchan multi talented highly accomplished he was rejected by the air all india radio for his baritone voice they wanted a much softer voice and now he is known for that very baritone voice his acting skills is huge he is he is known to be one of the most polite actors be it with a peon or with the president so we see so much reflection of krishna in this nakshatra and in him it's the saturn retrograde in that is the lagna lord in the fourth house of security masses emotions amitabh bachchan says is known to have said that my family knows that they can uh, rely on me in many instances always supporting being a supporting father grandparent and holds a deep respect for his parents you should just hear him render his father harivansh rai bachchan's poem especially madhushala i mean it's, it's to die for having read the poem in uh, as uh, you know as a curriculum for school and read it in a different manner but hearing him say that the love pours out in every one word and if you know about him he has written letters to his granddaughters as ladies and how they can feel safe in society and how to keep your head high it's a beautiful letter a letter from a man to his uh you know the ladies in the family so again an highly accomplished family man then we come to barack obama yes he also has two daughters and he always would take out time for his two daughters again it's moon which is the seventh lord in the fifth house of children fifth house of creativity fifth house of throne in spite of knowing to have a very very busy schedule no matter where he was he would always be present for his children always tina turner tina turner has been an inspiration because if you look it's the 11th house of gains 11th house of contacts 11th house of um, you know future behavior futuristic attitude so many things this lady had been married to a man who was also in a band and he used to regularly in spite of her and his being celebrities regularly physically abuse her beat her in front of their children and everything and then once when she could take it no more she fled so as i was telling you in case of ashlesha Ash, uh, bhava ji as high the highs as low the lows so even these nakshatras we have seen that even krishna grows through a lot of turmoil in his life never a moment in his life when he has been able to sit with a you know with a very peaceful heart but all the turmoil was on the outside he maintained a very calm interior as you said they have a lot of patience they have a lot of calmness around them she had a, they have a lot of determination around them amitabh bachchan also had a huge high and low in his life but he was a very determined person to make it and though there was a lot of uh, you know problems on the outside he steadily worked on for these towards getting out of them this lady also started came up to a huge high went down again and then made it back to the top adaptation surrogacy and mesmerizing themes bob dylan an american singer songwriter artist and 
writer he he has a son in rohini padpada he dated many a women and he still was a single well krishna had also a large family and there are many people out there who will always question ki you know when he would play with many women it was called raslila and when we do that we are said to be a flirt many including my son so that's that's one touchy point with him when he always tells me that and i say keep quiet but that is something that i am not going into details with yeah what krishna was say about lord shiva also the lord shiva drinks uh, tobacco bhang and all these mm. things so then one of my guru said oh but he drink po- he had drank poison also no so why don't you try that also yeah. <laughs> so krishna had lifted the govardhan also in his so, yes left, this uh, finger so we thank you for that. the answer baba ji thank you very much for the answer so next time i'll just tell my son that you know <laughs> before having girlfriends he had lifted the govardhan so before playing around with 10 girls please lift even the rock outside our home in your tiny finger and then we'll have a chat on that thank yeah, you in fact when narad muni comes to dwarka to see krishna <laughs> he, he, yes. he, was, he was thinking where krishna would be na maybe he's <laughs> rukmini or with satyabhama then he goes and sees krishna is in every palace and for yes. every queen there is a different palace na 16108 palace and 6008 palace yes, yes. 16108 Yeah, sixteen thousand hundred eight. So they say that if you can maintain so many women, then yes, you try. <laughs> <laughs> This is the strength of Rohini, na. Uh, they can express love in any every form. So that is why one of the things which is connected to Lord uh, Krishna is that he can, you know, uh, equally love all, right? And mm. in that case, if you have large family, in that case, you have, um, uh, you know, multiple partner. um i'm not saying that it is good but still uh, being a you know being a devta and being in a uh, position in which you can uh, satisfy all in that case um, i think it is good uh, nitin you bring about a very beautiful point here you know in those religions where they allow multiple partners this mm. is one of the prerogatives that you pay equal attention to all the spouses Yeah, pay you, equal uh, respect and dignity to all the spouses but we are humans even chandrama had a uh, you know chandrama had a favorite of the 27 wives because of which he had to face a lot of problems so at the end of the day we are humans we will have a favoritism in those things so that is one of the reasons why polygamy was abolished from society yeah and in fact it is said in the bhagavatam that Uh, morning when krishna used to come out from uh, the palace of each and every wife then uh, every wife would feel as if krishna is with me only mm. <laughs> and even in vrindavan when krishna used to play with the gopas the cowherd boys then mm. all the cowherd boys madhu mangal and all of them they would think krishna is looking towards me only so he can simultaneously look towards everybody and still look nowhere <laughs> <laughs> because he, he, this is a beautiful point because he says in the geeta i am everywhere everyone is in me but i am i am in everyone but you know i am still not in everyone i am there but still i am i am a different identity so if you can associate the i which is not this body and the mind with krishna then you are in him otherwise you are not there in him. Yeah, it's a beautiful. I mean, Bhagwat is a beautiful. Uh, you know, it's a, one of the best scriptures you can find in this world because it has so much of love and it has these stories are so profound. Coming back to Bob Dylan, he has been married. He's not been married. He's dated so many women, and yet currently single. He has six children, and one of them is adopted. Bob's father suffered from polio. Okay, so we have Daksha Prajapati's curse to Moon. Okay, because they say Moon is the favorite. Moon's favorite nakshatra is Rohini. Rohini, right, right, right. 
and that story i could not say because there's so little time because one hour is so little to cover so many things about rohini hmm. and he has published six books of drawings and paintings and his work is exhibited in major art galleries as a musician dylan has sold more than 100 million records making him one of the best selling artists of all times he is typically seen in his early days wearing a mascara colored lenses so you know uh, the beauty of krishna in the lotus petal eyes and you see it is sun sitting there right there in the seventh house of partners seventh house of public platform seventh house of interaction and social standing so he has had many partners and sun is the 10th lord of career and i always say the sun in the solar system is the biggest planet so all things being in multitude and so huge for him be it his writing be it his music be it uh, be it is uh, children anything and then we have salman khan again he has his rahu here and rahu and moon change houses okay so uh, rohini and falls allegations so if someone has a key planet in rohini and the star is afflicted the person in his lifetime will be blamed at least once for doing an act that he has not committed so um, baba ji do you remember the the jewel shamant the sham shamantaman sham samantaman mani shamantak shamantak mani right right ha so that was with satyabhama's father uh, you know um, satyanjit shat ha so he in fact had uh, and krishna had asked him ki please give this money to uh, the to balram ji not even me for the uh, well being of the entire dwarka and it can be kept into the treasury of dwarka it is yours but let it be given to that and satyajit he said no i will not give it it is mine because i through the penance to sun god i have achieved it and it is supposed to give me 1000 mohars per day so he says okay krishna says okay and then what happens is his brother one day decides to wear it and go for um, uh, a khet or rather hunting and there he is killed by a lion and the the lion cub uh, the lion was playing with uh, that you know that money and jamvant from ramayan he comes kills the lion and takes the money and he just he has he is a devotee of lord rama he is absolutely no no interest in money or anything and he gives that money to his son but that's the later part of the story meanwhile what has happened is satyabhama's father has now absolutely nailed it that krishna because he was not given that money has killed his brother and taken hold of the money and he is not giving that jewel back krishna is so mollified so if you people have any planet there as i said the chances of a scandal later on you will have to fight tooth and nail to get out of this scandal but you will be well rewarded with two wives jamvati and satyabhama so you might get multifold of reward back once you've cleared your names but you will have to do a lot of cleaning yeah, amitabh bachchan's case the uh, affliction which you are saying even i have seen it especially if uh, like i knew a lady who had moon in rohini and rahu was afflicting it from another hmm. earth sign so she used to uh, she want a book to reading with me and she said whenever i want something in life i always want the best and that has made my life hell because rohini was the best so she says hmm. that if i want to purchase a car i want it to be the best or at least it has to be best within my circle if i'm staying in a company then i should have the best car 
my man should be the most handsome he should be the most attractive he should be most charismatic my pay should be most attractive everything should be the best so that creates did an you, obsession if it is yes okay. did you not see with brahma it was it was the obsession to have great pomp and show so affliction leads to a greater pomp and show yes and krishna never wanted the best he was happy with his coward fr coward friends also krishna was everywhere happy but because he was krishna and we are humans so it makes all the difference but you're right there's a pomp and show and there's exhibition and there is blemish coming up even in uh, amitabh bachan's case do you see do you remember the bofors case yes <clears throat> and it in so many cases where he had to come out of so this and because it's it's more prominent because it's the lagna lord sitting there mm. and because it's retrograde it's not just one single time allegation it can have multiple allegations see again lagna lord sitting there in rohini he had many romantic interests we you know that for a fact so it is it is being um, you know false allegations this is about a french scientist you know he was a dictator of uh, in Fra uh, director of a laboratory well known laboratory in france and he was uh, said to have contaminated a blood with an aid virus for which two children died of aids as a result later on it was seen that no he he it was a false uh, allegation it was a scandal and lagna lord is again in rohini in the fourth pada nakshatra lord moon is in the eighth house of scandals and moon is in the rahu ketu axis and venus is also which is the lagna lord again on the axis of the scandals if pluto and neptune is in rohini nakshatra then between the ages of 85 to 88 38 to 50 or 65 to 75 one can face situations that like situations or problems with water so uh henry ford 2 okay when we say growth so instead of pal uh, you know plagiarism let us take up a uh, growth henry ford one also had his 10th lord a uh, 10th house in rohini nakshatra and he also had ketu sitting here in 10th house for rohini and we know that henry ford was one of those people who bought cars on to a level where the normal man could purchase the cars otherwise it was something of a beauty for the young uh, for the rich and the famous only till then in america when henry ford 2 that is the grandson of henry ford 1 moved he was called in because after his son's death that is henry ford 1's son's death he was he had lost quite a lot of interest in uh, his company and the company was in the brink of bankruptcy henry ford 1 stepped henry ford 2 stepped in and he bought the company back from the teeth of bankruptcy to a very sterling height of success so he as a child was overweight and he was bullied so he had a difficult childhood and he was dismissed for having cheated and a lot of things he had to take up a menial job in his grandfather's company but he started in the company as a menial job as you see krishna started as a cowherd and he became the king maker i have always maintained the king maker is stronger more powerful than the king himself absolutely so that is what you see henry ford 2 also rising up to power jupiter is in rohini nakshatra pada 3 it's he it's in the fifth house of higher education it is also the fifth house of applied education and applied intelligence fifth house of power fifth house of um, you know uh, fifth house of power fifth house of position and so many other things 
symbology is the chariot so we'll move on to sim sim symbology and you know time has simply flown time has simply flown in this uh, class it is fun it is speed swift it's a motion though it's a very strongly fixed nakshatra but it is swift so anything planted here grows swiftly and it's a symbol of power and glory you will see that most people who have uh, amitabh bachchan has a huge love for cars so people again salman khan love for cars these people are also when you take back the example of krishna they are very generous because this nakshatra shows if i associate it with krishna shows a lot of generosity of character there are so many tales of krishna's life that if we can continue for 4 5 days it will not end because if you take up the case of sudama he was he had given so much to his friend just for a uh, you know for a handful of uh, what should i say dried rice big rice that rupani ji had to hold his hand when he started uh, eating it for the second time why he said in the first go you've given him so much the second go i have to go with him mm. so stop it right now so they that generous their childhood friendships are something that they will always retain no matter where they move in life and this nakshatra is a symbol of power and glory we know we've seen how towards sterling heights amitabh bachchan has moved and it's not just his chart you pick up any chart bob dylan you've seen his chart the heights that he's moved phenomenal henry ford the very man i was talking about it's in the 10th house k2 phenomenal height phenomenal height for a common man to come to this level jeffrey archer venus and mars in the 11th house one of those blockbusters you know i uh, if i want to read a uh, suspense or rather a thriller with no people killing around but a mental thriller a thriller jeffrey archer is something i will always recommend to anybody the suspense at the end of his stories are mind blowing and he has <clears throat> he started off writing when he became nearly bankrupt so he started writing and it gave him glory and focus mars is the fifth lord of publications mars is the fifth lord of creativity Venus is the eleventh lord of contacts and gains. Venus is also the fourth lord of masses. His blockbusters. If you've not read, read first. Read about not a penny more, not a penny less. You're going to split in your seat just reading this book. Trust me on that. First amongst equals. Awesome book. Awesome. and uh, you know when you wanted to when he was four he wanted to be a prime minister unfortunately because his work went uh, uh, so he had to go in for bankruptcy that uh, this allows you to hold any post in the government he had to go into writing mars also represents ink venus is interest passion designer design and ministry so he grown from strength to strength mars is again in rohini second pala so vargottam and pushkarnavamsha and for this lagna this is a very strong yoga card but nevertheless it is sit sitting with venus which is a badhak so the ministry was the badhak you see how uh, how uh, life and fate play out in our favor but he at one time must have considered having lost the ministry to be the biggest ill omen in his life he gained through writing so the planet here is moon which is ram which is the mind the creativity and as i said 
people who have their moon here have one of the best creative associations one of the best creative associations then yeah it if it is afflicted you will find a lot of lies and deceit associated with it see if someone is having moon in, the, in this nakshatra rohini na uh, uh-huh. according to sri jataka adhyay they say uh, rohina rohinya jayate bala sushila sthir buddhish surupa so all these word means as you said earlier that they are the um, yeah, they are quite adamant about their point but at the same time they are uh, sweet enough to mold others for their own wishes you know exactly so the strength of character can be seen inside for those people who re- on the outside they very soft very calm as the <laughs> as the uh, shloka is suggesting sushila mm-hmm. um, and good also conduct, good conduct satyavadini i am just completing it it was uh, sushila satyavadini uh, then surupa sthir buddhish dhan dhanya samanvita so yes it is good for finance also it it is good for you know uh, for speaking truth but at the same time sweet was satyam buryat priyam buryat buryat na buryat satyam apriyam right. yeah and and i have seen this on on when you say that i have seen this that when women with moon in rohini enter a family with them they get a lot of wealth matlab after these peop- girls are married in the family a lot of wealth or mm-hmm. shri follows in the family they are quite fortunate right yes they are very fortunate if not for themselves at least for their husband and the family yeah and generally astrology is like you have now 3 4 5 malefics so 90% of the times you will see charts where either moon any if a planet is in rohini either either another malefic is sitting or from mm. some other place some other malefic will be aspecting so very rarely it will happen that if moon is here it is neither afflicted by any of the malefics like very rarely it happens and maybe because of that the negative traits can come out more although when the positives are there because of that also it happens i think yes so true um bhava ji one more thing is in life five out of nine planets are totally malefic Correct. okay hmm. two are conditional malefic or benefic <laughs> yes and only two are benefic totally so most of the times you will see negatives only in life but it is for us to allow those benefics also to shed their lights and as i was telling nitin at one point if we start seeing things in a positive light probably life becomes easier for us rather than anybody else because at the end of the day it is our life it is not anybody else's life it is our life we are the ones who are impacted the most by our thought process and everything that goes within us so if others are bent on making life miserable for us why are we adding it to their cart you know why are we adding on to that cart why can't we make life better for us yeah they say that there are already 99 problems don't be the 100th one <laughs> exactly exactly so the purushartha and you know so let's come on to to uh, so like i was saying uh, you know animal here is male serpent mm. and so these nakshatra people have a very strong association with the ashlesha when we were doing ashlesha you remember i showed you the story of krishna and um, the kalyana mhm male serpent here as the animal so they have a strong instinct to be able to control the ashlesha people also this animal it's changing dangerous if ignited lord krishna had a way of getting back at people with speed like they say in hindi unka kata hua pani bhi nahi mangta tha that means he didn't give his enemies time to even ask for water if you uh, remember the story of jayadrath till jayadrath came out right in front of arjuna to laugh at arjuna's and on his face that saying that i've got the prayer ready for you please go and yourself krishna did not he maintained a poker faced 
he did not speak a word arjun kept looking at him come and help me he did not do anything so these people maintain a very poker face they do not show their emotions especially if you have this as a second lord or planet there in the second house or second lord or if you have uh, you know moon in rohini they will not show their emotions very well on face to everybody hypnotic eyes silent walk krishna was known as tribhangi the one who moves beautifully yet he has a three uh, you know his body is uh, this three, totally three in four bending form it is uh, so it, and even his name is teda it's it's it has three um, his name is also tribhangi it's not a straight name here i want to focus on you know the changing point you are saying that uh, this nakshatra represent changes what i feel is uh, they generally don't break the norms or uh, laws but they mold it for according to their own wish uh, yes. you know they are spineless so they they did they, they search the escape route without um, contradicting or without confliction confliction they can prove by using you know um, the bylaws dand bhed they can the bylaws <laughs> yeah krishna within the uh, you know within the system started changing the system correct correct yes they do that and the very beautiful uh, eyes silent eye so and this is more to do with the sexual attitude but you can also put it in the nature of the person because we have developed as humans after going through the 84 lakh yonis the 64 lakh yonis that we have gone through and being a serpent is one of them so we also resonate anybody having a planet in rohini would also resonate to a snake like attitude so you can have a change because uh, again uh, nitin the moon which is the favorite of this who holds rohini as its favorite nakshatra is one which changes a lot yes so let's do the And another thing i have seen is there because rohini as a lady was uh, kind of victim of envy so these people uh, i have seen especially that within their closed circles they can have a lot of people who are very envious of them and want to pull them down in fact i know a girl who said uh, her sister had moon in rohini okay and mm. what happened was their birthdays were very near okay <laughs> this is like spot on so then what happened was uh, she was the elder one who said and the younger one had moon in rohini okay so then the elder one said to me that uh, somehow it always used to happen that Uh, whenever my birthday would come in june and her birthday was somewhere in july the younger was that my mother would give a gift to her also to my younger sister also when it was my birthday but mm-hmm. when it was her birthday after a month she would never give me anything <laughs> so this special treatment is seen i've seen in many cases this happening yes i uh, yes and these people are also very beautiful i i keep this uh, point for uh, you know my story with uh, daksha kars they have a lot of people envy them a lot and these people are also very beautiful very very beautiful if you have moon in rohini if you have lagna in rohini if you have lagna lord in rohini write it down that they are very beautiful Yes, if the lagna is in Rohini, then it happens more, I think. And if moon is in Rohini, then these other traits will play out more. This is what I have seen. Yeah, accomplishments, accomplishments yes. are very beautiful. Or they very have a planet high. in lagna, or they have a planet in the ascendant, which is in Rohini. Even if the ascendant yes. is not there, then also this happens. Very, very beautiful. Either beautiful characteristics, or and if they have Venus in Rohini, so it's. first and foremost in its own house then it is in the lagna of rohini 
then it is the qualities of a lady to be able to be attract you know attract others and at the same time you know be very very uh, intelligent is something you will see because it is karyeshu mantri shaineshu rambha you know karmeshu karmeshu dashi all those qualities of the lady as the venetian qualities will be seen in that lady and i have seen that i have seen that many a times don't you agree nitin me yeah, i totally agree with you venus and taurus right and particular in rohini nakshatra hmm. um hello am i audible yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. See, um, nakshatra deity, as we we are discussing, it was Brahma, but uh, the mm. Dasha Lord was Moon, right? And yeah. Moon Venus combination, Moon uh, nakshatra of Moon, sign of Venus, and Venus is posited there. Definitely, it will give it will uh, show a, uh, a beauty on her face. One thing, uh, but what I feel is, you know. some people have photogenic face and some are quite expressive when you you when you talk to them then you mesmerize about them wow, wow what, what what type of personality yeah. is having so uh, if someone is having mercury in this uh, rohini nakshatra particularly in second pada uh, we need to wait for um, you know her or he, him to start uh, talking uh, after that you can you know attracted toward him what i feel And it's animated, have, animated yeah. conversation. I mean, the the face starts glowing, and then you realize that the person is so much within. Yeah. Correct, 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 correct. So these these are the professions: agriculture, fashion, entertainment, shipping, decorators, hotel, transportation, and tourism. Why transportation and tourism? Because it is associated yeah. with the share. Mm. So, what are the long-term activities that you can do? You can do uh, agriculture, anything that you want to do for long term, because it's a stira nakshatra, trading, graha pravesh, permanent work, marriages, coronation, traveling long distances, conceiving, because it's a procreation nakshatra, buying cars definitely, beach mantras. i have in every episode told people not to do the beach mantras but we always give the beach mantras until and unless you are uh, all associated with a guru you have been initiated by a guru please don't do the beach mantras the extremely potent om ram om ram so this is the way you have to learn the halant if you do not you know they say in urdu ek um, ek hal, uh, ek khalaf ki uh, um, jagah badalne se khuda bhi juda ho jata hai so one you know one uh, small bindi from here to there can play havoc with your lives the energy associated with the beach mantras because they associated with one of your channel uh, your nadis and your points the seven chakras so do not do anything to ignite them without having the power to channelize the energy it's better to use the beach mantra om brahmane namaha you are propitiating the deity you are not inviting the shakti vishnu sahasra naam because it's the sixth nakshatra so 21st to 25th 20 21st to 24th those four padas of vishnu sahasranam wherever your moon is placed if you do this every day you are really going to benefit by way of a good end to life and it also helps you become a better person remedial measures combination of moon plus venus can be done luxurious items to young girls and on rohini day spend time with your partner and spouse for children on a full moon day when moon is in rohini nakshatra perform shrad ceremony of the ancestors this is not possible because if it has to be a full moon day for the for the shrad paksh it cannot be the moon cannot be in rohini so uh, but 
during the shrad paksha when moon is in rohini then if you do the uh, ceremony for your deceased then also you are blessed this is something that i got from a different place if for an intense wish fulfillment do a havan on rohini day and wish upon the havan for your wish to be for, uh, fulfilled this process can be repeated on the punarvasu day meditation to clear the mind and to receive the answers for the confusion in the mind because brahma was asked to meditate by lord vishnu to create the universe how and what to do about it so if you are facing a problem then meditation to get the answer to the problem is the best way so that brings me to the end of the presentation time really flew by with the three of you to with the three of us with the two of you it's almost one and a half hour <laughs> <laughs> fantastic nitin ji would like to add something or subtract no <laughs> no subtract oh sorry. see um a few new things to learn from anuradha ji and uh, it was a i would say a sensational session to learn from her to to learn few things from her and uh, apart from it you know uh, there are certain things which we can add on if if anuradha ji permit me to do that yeah please 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 you and i would learn uh, so. see uh, most probably uh, you earlier said that uh, this was a 80 slide presentation so uh, because of shortage of time we might not we may uh, might not covered it uh, about the tree which is connected with this nakshatra yes uh, so a uh, plum jamun tree is considered mm. to be connected with this nakshatra and uh, as one of the remedy my guru uh, told me that if someone is born in rohini nakshatra and if he is not having good health it is better to plant jamun tree on rohini nakshatra so uh, this is one of the thing which we can do and um, apart from it uh, as a, as a anuradha ji said that this is dhruva nakshatra Uh, and you uh, bhavajit bhai told us that uh, you started this channel on rohini nakshatra so there is no need to say this that uh, dhruva nakshatra is considered to be good uh, for initiating process so um, for me it's a good um, session and lightning session <laughs> so uh, you know nitin uh, for all nakshatras the trees can be used to plant to do two things to strengthen any planet there and right. to to uh, for your health also because when you you know, you water a being mm. okay so you also get watered it's the universe blessing you also so any nakshatra so if it's a punarvasu nakshatra every day you water the bamboo plant mm. then you will also be watered okay so it's the tree thing holds for every nakshatra in general not mm. just mm. Uh, not just you know uh, rohini but every nakshatra in general and but you know because of lack of time i cannot cover so much in can i, can I told you i do it in four hour session uh, <laughs> for my classes right i can understand that's what uh, i was telling that uh, because you have 80 slides to cover and we cannot cover it in one one hour uh, session so um and one more thing uh, things which we can donate if you born in rohini nakshatra um, i forgot the name of one classical book in which it is given that uh, ghee mishrit annadan is good for rohini nakshatra so if you can donate anna um cereals ghee mishrit i don't know uh, what is the english of this word ghee yes, clarified, uh, butter. clarified butter clarified, clarified butter right 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 yeah so Yeah, and I forgot to announce in the beginning that both of them are having two beautiful channels. <laughs> 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 so, and Nitin Ji has recently crossed twenty thousand, or is it twenty-five now? Last time I saw it was twenty. <laughs> now it's twenty-one thousand. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Ma'am Ma'am has also crossed two thousand. So if you have somehow not uh, got the information about their channels then i will post it in the description and you can go and subscribe to their channels and you both also do consultations and you can also go in the uh, in their channels and see how that is done and uh, one new thing uh, nitin ji will speak on vimshopakwal 
<laughs> many, many, many people have been telling me that where is Nitinji? Why don't you bring him? Have you got some fight with him? <laughs> <laughs> in fact, when you were when I was doing the session, one person messaged me, you know, oh, when Nitinji is coming. <laughs> so, uh, He'll, uh, you know, when we're talking about Lord Krishna, he gets people together, and he doesn't. So may Lord Krishna bless us with the ability to remain together and to prosper. May all prosper. It's mm. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Prashyantu, Makasjit Dubhagave. And yes, Janmashtami will be round the corner by the time this part two is uploaded, I think. So if anybody is interested to uh, strengthen their spiritual practices, you can always do because Janmashtami is on the day of Rohini itself and as we all discuss that whatever you do on that day, it will flourish and fructify. So if you have, uh, if you want to read scriptures like the Bhagavatam or the Gita or the Mahabharata, it's the best time to start. So please start it. Okay. So thank you very much. Thank you both for coming and enlightening. <laughs> thank you so much for calling us. Okay. Namaste. Namaste.